the singular beast jews christians and the pig by claudine fabre vassar translated by carol volk from french this is the dust jacket that's a pig all right so i like the color it's got this sort of burgundy paper sides with quarter bound in cloth here. A nice te texture to it. Solid book. And inside there are one or two pictures throughout and then there's a whole section of pictures. It's an interesting way to do it if you ask me. So it's not that there, as you see, there aren't that many pictures throughout. You hit one or two and then at one place, there are a bunch of them. Here we go. We sort of get to this place where there are lots of, lots of pictures all in a row. <clears throat> so the book is about how different cultures, particularly the Jews and the Christians, have treated the pig and pork. Um, through their fables and through their traditions and, and, and the interaction between Jews and Christians, that is to say, some of the way that they treat the pig is not, <clears throat> is not just different between Jews and Christians, but is specifically done because it's different. Maybe the Christians are specifically eating the pig on specific days because the Jews didn't, that kind of a thing. Um, so, I mean, famously, Jews uh, do not, uh, religious Jews who follow kosher do not eat pork. Uh, less famously, they don't eat all kinds of different things. Um, so, but for some reason, the pig has really become a big thing. You know, people don't think of kosher Jews not eating king crab, but... They don't eat king crab any more than they eat pig. Anyway, this is, uh, it, it's written, it, it's written in a, um, it's an academic subject. It's written in a relatively academic way, but I found it pretty easy going. Uh, it's not, it doesn't feel like a, um, like a doctoral dissertation. It feels, not that I've read a lot of doctoral dissertations, though I have read a few. It feels like it's written for an audience of an interested educated layperson, and I suppose that's what I am, uh, though I'm not, I wasn't interested, I wasn't educated in this arena. I, I, I suppose I have an interest in the interplay between Jews and Christians, and suppose, so that gave me a head start on this book, and maybe if you didn't have that, you wouldn't find it as interesting, um, but I found it well done. Okay, so the paper is reasonably thick. It's not exactly cardstock. There's plenty of, uh, it's, it's easy to read as far from the layout of it. And uh, let's have a look at the table of contents so you can get a, a decent idea. These, these do not give you a lot of information, do they, about what the chapter is about. Anyway, I can recommend it if you're at all interested in this kind of a history. I, I, I found it really super interesting. Okay, so, <clears throat> The Singular Beast by Claudine Fabre-Vassa, translated by Carol Volk. I don't think you're going to find another translation, so this is the only one you get if you don't read French. <clears throat> 